Hey Vogue, it's me Kiki Palmer and welcome to the behind the scenes of me getting ready for the 2021 Met Gala. So it's about an hour away till showtime. Right now I'm getting ready and I'm getting my nails, you know, gels getting dried right now. Ooh, almost got a little bit of fur from my blanket on it. You know, I gotta always be cozy. I have Trina who's doing my nails. We're kinda going for like a 70s-esque fashion. You know, obviously the theme is American independence and no one better came to mind other than the boss herself, Diana Ross. I love Diana, you know, she calls herself the boss. I call myself Big Boss. So I thought, okay, that would be a great person to kind of like, you know, you know, pull from. Miles is giving us some modern take on a Diana Ross 70s fashion vibe, the big hair blown out. And then Dina's giving me some very dramatic eyes. We might even go like a little thin with the brows. It's definitely gonna be fabulous. So the dress I chose tonight was designed by Sergio. Hudson and I chose it alongside my stylist Seth. You know, obviously Sergio Hudson's known for just beautiful colors, glam, you know what I mean? He does that so well, just that that really iconic, like iconic kind of like diva gown look. So we started looking and we, you know, found a couple of dresses that we were really into. And we thought we were gonna choose, you know, one specific one, but of course Anna came in and she was like, you know, look, if it's down to these two, this is this is the one that I'm thinking, and of course, you know, you gotta hear what the queen is talking about. And um, you know, we, we chose the one that we feel like is just gonna be perfect for the look tonight. A lot of times you think about just the dress or the outfit that the person's gonna wear, but everything tied together from the nails to the makeup to the hair, all really make the look. And that's why I'm really excited about the choice that I did. And I didn't even mention the incredible jewelry that we have. I mean, the jewelry's so incredible that I had to sign my life away in order to even have it. So that, that, that just lets you know how, how big of a deal that it actually is. I cannot tell you how many times that I wanted to literally find Drake and just strangle him because now everybody thinks that, you know, like, Kiki, do you love me? Kiki, do you love me? I'm like, no, I don't. I'm currently filming a movie uh, right now on top of getting prepared for this, which is, again, usual Kiki fashion. I, for whatever reason, love to do a million things at once. It's a lot of great things going on. And you just want to try your best to be able to really embrace it in this moment, um, you know, because the moment is now. You know, and then time goes and you look back on it and you're like, man, hope I really enjoyed that. So I'm really just trying my best to enjoy all these different things that are happening. I'm very grateful. Currently I'm filming Nope, which is uh, the new Jordan Peele movie that's getting ready to come out 2022. It's so insane and yet I can't tell anybody about it because that's how Jordan is, which makes it really cool, but also really stressful because I'm like, I don't want to say the wrong thing. But all I do know is that everybody's going to love it and working with Jordan has been one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Yes, I won an Emmy last night and I can't even believe it. Prime time, darling, in case you were wondering. It's uh, from a character that I actually created on my Instagram, a sketch character that we turned into a Facebook watch series. And I think it really just hopefully it lets people know that it doesn't matter how much money you have or what platform you're doing something on, it, even if it's not, you know, oh, NBC or in the movie theaters, it can still make an impact. It can still be something that's special. And it encourages me to continue to do my own stuff, you know, and not worry about who's interested, who's not interested, but just to create from a genuine place. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice acknowledgement. I'm very, very appreciative of it. We are, I know it might be hard to believe, but almost done with glam. And then um, you guys are gonna be able to see me get on this dress. Here it is, America, a lexicon. I think, you know, it was important to me for my first Met Gala that yes, I wear something that's, you know, gonna be eye-catching, but also something that's timeless. So when I look back on it 20 years from now, I'm gonna say that could be worn today and still be just as fabulous. It's 
about 10 minutes before we get to the actual carpet and I'm very excited um, you know I'm gonna be doing my pictures first so getting all that out the way you know and then I can just kind of really engage with all the different guests that are coming through I'm very excited I just know it's gonna be fun because I'm genuinely an excitable and curious person uh, so I'm just gonna be you know yeah, obviously I have things prepared but I'm also going to be very in the moment of just you know you know really being gagged by all these different looks I can't imagine what people are going to be expressing you know their idea of America's lexicon of fashion so it's going to be just really really cool and my dress is very comfortable which is not always when you're trying to make a fashionable statement but luckily I'm comfortable and sparkling I mean I feel like a like a statue and the coolest part I mean there's a lot of cool things, but it's also very cool that this was the finale dress as Sergio Hudson's latest show um, within his newest collection. So, you know, I'm definitely giving you a, a gag of an exclusive. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that you guys were hanging out with me. And I hope that you enjoy the stream, the live stream, as much as I'm going to have fun doing it. 